Welcome to Standing Firm Tribulation Radio, broadcasting the truth in the last days, giving commentary to the latest news, encouraging the faithful remnant through God's Word to help you stand firm. This is a worldwide ministry to all of God's children, of which many are currently undergoing intense persecution, while others are facing an onslaught of demonic activity, extreme weather, and catastrophic disasters. We have another great show planned for you today. You're listening to Tribulation Radio. Please stay tuned, for the show will start in one minute. Lord, I know you are leading me. I will follow eternally. Lord, I know that you Please stay tuned to listen to the heavenly music of Paula Dispro, who sings a different song each week to the glory of God. This is Robin Blair, and I am pleased to introduce my husband and radio host, Reverend Daniel Blair, who broadcasts weekly to the faithful remnant living in the last days. Today's broadcast continues an eight-week series on the armor of God a very important part of being prepared spiritually for the end times is being dressed in and utilizing the whole armor of god for satan will be extremely powerful and even more deceptive because he knows that his time is short the next piece of armor to be put on by the christian soldier is the sword of the spirit this is the weapon that our lord and savior used against the devil in his wilderness temptations Notice that the devil was the one who first quoted Old Testament scripture, which was then countered by Christ with another scripture. When Jesus Christ quoted scripture, he shed light on the devil's misinterpretation of God's word by putting it into its proper context. As we fast approach the end of days, many are coming out from the church, no longer resting under its authority and guidance for scriptural interpretation which leads many to interpret scripture as they feel led. The problem is, who's doing the leading? Is it the Holy Spirit of God who leads us into all truth, or is it the devil disguising himself as an angel of light? Scripture quoted out of context, not weighing what the rest of the Bible has to say about the topic, or having true discernment on who is doing the leading, has led many in their spiritual pride to form cults or develop full-blown heresies. This is the devil's work, to separate religious people so that they can be destroyed. In these days, the enemy is running rampant in the church, looking to divide and conquer. Just take a cursory look at the New Testament. We see much written to combat the heresies springing up in the first century where the word of God was changed and manipulated to lead people astray so that they would no longer rest under God's authority but be taken captive by the devil to do his bidding. As soldiers of God, we take up the sword of the Spirit to take our stand against the real enemy, standing behind those who would use God's word to their own advantage. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 So dear friends, don't be so quick to quote a favorite verse or an endless list of scripture from your own understanding, but wait upon the Lord to give you just the right scripture and its proper interpretation to be used to counter the enemy. For those who have been taken captive by the devil, they will feel the spiritual penetration of God's word reaching deep into their callous and prideful heart to bring conviction. 
It's only this conviction from the Holy Spirit that will bring true deliverance from the enemy's camp. Therefore, the sword of the Spirit is very powerful in our struggle against the enemy, but we must use it wisely. To rush ahead in your own biblical understanding will only allow the enemy to strengthen his hold upon those taken captive. So we must wait upon the Spirit to give us just the right word to break the chains of the devil and to free the hostages. False doctrine is another while of the devil. But the Christian soldier can fight false doctrine by picking up the sword of the Spirit. A word of caution here is necessary. If you attempt to pick up the sword and use it to fight false doctrine without being filled with the Spirit, you set yourself up for a devastating defeat by Satan and his minions. Only through God's Holy Spirit can we receive the appropriate words to defeat Satan. Jesus said, When you are brought before synagogues, rulers, and authorities, do not worry about how you would defend yourselves or what you will say, for the Holy Spirit would teach you at that time what you should say. Luke 12, 11, and 12. Even if we have studied the entire Bible and understand the original languages and put everything in its proper context, we will be no match for those spouting their false doctrines unless we are filled with the Holy Spirit who gives us the words to say at its proper time. This does not negate the fact that Christian soldiers should also have taken the time to read through all of God's Word with an open and teachable heart. In your study of the Bible, you must always allow God to speak to you first prior to ever picking up a commentary, a lexicon, a Bible dictionary, or any other tool. Meditate long on each passage of Scripture, rolling it over and over again in your mind, putting it in its proper context, and asking God through much prayer its meaning and proper application for your life. The more you study God's Word, the easier it is to allow the Holy Spirit to bring these verses back to your memory and onto your tongue to confront those who would attempt to lead you astray through false doctrine. Most of all, False doctrines have come through not listening to the Holy Spirit and by not following the proper methods of studying the Bible. They may have studied the whole Bible, but refuse to recognize that there is a difference between the teachings of the apocalyptic writings with a fair amount of symbolism, the parables, poetry, prose, the use or hyperbolo, or other types of writings in the Bible. Throughout Christian history, some have spiritualized large parts of the Bible or taken everything in a literal sense, which has caused great confusion among Christians. It is only common sense to recognize the different types of literature so that a proper interpretation could be made, which will always be confirmed by the Holy Spirit. In these last days, the devil is spawning false doctrines at a rate never seen before in an attempt to divide and destroy God's holy church. We must take up the sword of the Spirit and take our stand against the schemes of the devil. But again, let me remind you that this needs to be done with the whole armor of God. Take a moment before proceeding and ensure that you have taken up each piece of armor and know how to use it because we are about to enter into Satan's most powerful strongholds. Traditions of men are another while of the devil, but the Christian soldier can fight the traditions of men by picking up the sword of the Spirit. You might ask, why do I need to fight against the traditions of men? I am sure there are many harmless traditions of men that will not cause the Christian soldier any problems. For example, our family has a tradition to invite family over for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner every year. In of itself, there is nothing wrong with this tradition as long as it does not interfere with God's will during that time of the year. But on the other hand, there are many traditions of men that are harmful, which gives the devil an open door. Christ told the Pharisees that they had put their traditions over and above the clear teachings of God's word. Jesus replied, And why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? Matthew 15, 3. The traditions that concern us are those traditions that would keep us from wielding the sword of the Spirit against the devil and his minions. Tolerance is a tradition of men that keeps us from wielding the sword. This tradition has grown so popular and widespread in the global community that to wield your sword against it will cause you untold problems and eventual persecution.
The coming Antichrist will unite all nationalities, all cultures, and all religions together in a new world order so that they can be controlled. This is only possible by causing all to accept his philosophy of tolerance. Whereas holding on to the truth that Christ is the only way to the Father, will we be able to maintain the exclusiveness of Christianity and stand against the designs of the devil with the sword of the Spirit? I will be right back after a 30-second station break. Are you prepared to stand firm against wars, plagues, pestilence, and every manner of catastrophe? Are you prepared to stand firm against the devastating natural disasters taking its toll on humanity? Are you prepared to stand firm against all the mental and psychological problems plaguing our planet? Are you prepared to stand firm against horrifying persecution and imprisonment for your faith? I'm so convinced we're living in the last days that I'm offering Stand Firm, a beautiful hardcover edition with an incredible discount available on my secure website through PayPal. Lies are another wild of the devil, but the Christian soldier can fight the devil's lies by picking up the sword of the Spirit. As the father of lies, this is the most powerful wild of the devil. The serpent that lied from the beginning when he caused Eve to question the integrity of God did God really say? See Genesis 3.1. He has lied to Christians down through the centuries, causing them to question the integrity of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. So how does he do that? The first major lie instigated by the devil claims the devil does not exist, and the demon-possessed people Christ helped simply suffered from some psychological problem and not demon possession. This lie is so accepted in our time that very few books are written on how to stand against the enemy, while many more books are written on how to cope with your psychological problems. Quite clearly, this is a lie of the devil. As Christian soldiers, we must pick up the sword of the Spirit and wield it against this lie. We do this by putting on the full armor of God and standing against all the wiles of the devil which will make you stronger in the Lord and able to teach others. As we wield our sword against this lie, then others will escape the bondage of the devil and his lie. They will escape the lie that they were sick with some sort of psychological problem. They can only be cured by the world's counseling techniques and prescription drug plan. Of course, the second biggest lie of the devil is that God has not given us everything we need for life and godliness. God's Word gives answers concerning depression, anxiety, loneliness, temptation, fear, and feelings of guilt along with many other problems that plagues mankind in our day. We need to know these truths from God's Word to become an effective soldier against the deceits of the devil. Are you engaging the enemy today? This is Rev. Daniel Blair, Broadcasting Tribulation Radio, live from Round Rock, Texas. Subscribe today and join a growing movement to come out from the fallen brethren and standing firm. We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, that I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that He has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has He promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of His commandments and trust Him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven and we are made into a brand new creation where old things pass away. From the very first day we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth, 
producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now confessing and repenting of your sins, telling Him that you believe that He is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking Him to take full control of your life as Lord. Teresa Wiggins has a loving heart for the orphans, the widows, and the poor, and invites you to visit her website and make a tax-deductible donation today for one of these precious children. These are only two of the many hungry and deprived children that could use your help. The little girl and boy are from Uganda, Africa. Make your tax-deductible donation today using the PayPal button. Thank you for your help. This is a closeout inventory sale for all of my books. I am offering them with an incredible discount. Final Warning offers evidence that the beast is already building the global city of Revelation. 
Stand Firm helps build a solid theological belief system, giving you godly counsel for the last days. Guiding Principles for Biblical Counseling is a very practical book for the layman and professional. Revelation Truth is a collection of all my timeless articles written to help us stand firm. Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again. Thank you.